Epstein says life is all about winning. And the same is true in politics. And now a GOP primary fight to win a Florida Senate seat has one candidate comparing a rival candidate from Southwest Florida to Charlie Sheen. John Rapolo working to get you both sides of this war of words involving Connie Mack. Yeah, winning, Patrick. Well, Senate candidate George Lemieux making the Connie Charlie comparison today in a room full of news reporters at the state capitol. Connie Mack the fourth is the Charlie Sheen of Florida politics. After George Lemieux said Congressman Connie Mack doesn't have the character to serve in the U.S. Senate, we wanted to know more, and I gave him a call. Is it fair to call Connie Mack the Charlie Sheen of Florida politics? It is, and maybe unfair to Charlie Sheen. Lemieux points to a recent Miami Herald investigation that says Mack's past includes trouble paying his taxes in 2004 and alleged bar brawls and road rage between 1987 and 1992. When I contacted Max campaign, they refused to comment, instead referring us to this letter they sent to Lemieux, which says in part, the fact you would hold a press conference that gives you a few more lines of the newspaper by trying again to take no prisoners is frankly why you're not suitable to serve in any elective office and certainly not in the United States Senate. Political analysts say there may be something to that, noting Lemieux is way behind Mac in the polls. I'm not saying it's a death move, but it's, but it's certainly some of his campaign people have said, we've got to do something. Lemieux tells me otherwise. Our campaign's getting a lot of momentum. One thing for sure, he's getting a lot of attention, and it's up to you to decide if the Connie-Charlie comparison really matters. I think when issues of character like this are brought forward by major publications in this state, the voters have a right to evaluate them. Well, there you go. Now, the primary is August the 14th. The winner will face Democratic Senator Bill Nelson in November. We're live in the newsroom. John Rapolo, Fox 4, in your corner.